but certainly not least, joining us at the Abbotsford Convent today is behind the words, very own buttercup, Lee McLennan. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hi, Karina. <laughs> This is a very strange experience, interviewing one of our gorgeous presenters. It's kind of odd. It's great. <clears throat> I love it. Welcome. Okay. So let's have a chat about Under the Milky Way, yes. shall we? So you play the character of Helene McKenzie, who is the leading lady. And it's so rare that we find such strong women on Australian television who aren't a caricature or who aren't solely there to look good, which you obviously do as well. Oh, thanks, Tom. But um, who is Helene for you? How is that? She's awesome. She's an intelligent, very passionate scientist. Um, she's a little bit of a social misfit in her community and uh, uh, she's lost her way a little bit since her father passed. Um, but she's great. She's straight down the line. Yeah. Bit like fun. you, Lee. Yeah. Smart, straight down the line, fun. Oh, now, now. Look out. <laughs> so Shane and his team have done such an amazing job because the characters in the show are so believable from the first page. How did you, as an actor, bring all of your Lee McLenaghan to Helene? Did you, was there a lot of similarities between the two Well, that's the thing. That's exactly what I did because I think you've got to remember and not overthink things, especially on a show like this. You were cast because you know, the writer-director saw Helene in you. So you can't be like, oh, okay, right, I need to do something magical when I get on set because that's not what you were cast for. You were cast because of your similarities, I think. Um, so, yeah, we have a lot of similarities. Helene's uh, definitely more patient than I would be, <laughs> so I had to <laughs> be like, why isn't she telling them off? Um, and see the story from her side, obviously, which was interesting. It was fun. I was like, wow, you really need to incorporate that into your own life. That's so lovely that, because it's so rare that opportunities like that come up where you can essentially be yourself in a lot of ways on set, which is so lovely. It must have been a really nice experience, especially up in Coonabarabran. Oh, my goodness. At the Siding Springs. Siding Spring, yeah. The observatory up there, I just, it was out of this world. It blew all our minds, literally. I think they were so excited that we were filming part of their world that they just opened up everything for us. Standing on top of a 15-storey telescope, you know, and um, the staff were amazing. Uh, just, you know, what, what you've got this, you know, billion dollar thing in front of you and they're like, what do you want it to do? It's corkscrew, open the roof. Like, you were like, okay, yeah, cool, I'll just stand here. It's so fancy. It was. <laughs> when we got up there, obviously, because of the extra access that we had, uh, Shane realised that we were going to have to sort of rewrite episode six to incorporate more of what we had. So he literally sat up one night and just rewrote the whole thing. And yeah, we got the scripts the next day and away we went. What have you taken away from this experience on Under the Milky Way? Getting all the deep questions now behind um, the words. Um, it was a very humbling experience from both sides being surrounded by like a super talented group of people. Um, you're just like, wow, I've got the easiest job here and all you guys are amazing. And then also the location, realising how insignificant we all actually are, in a good way, not in a bad way, but just that there is so much out there and, wow, we're just, we're just like this. Tiny little speck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Lee McLenaghan. It's been so lovely having you here. It's been really fun to chat to you. Um, that's it for us on Behind the Words. That's another episode down. We will see you next week. Thanks so much for joining us and we will see you next time. Thank you, Karina. And adios to everybody at home. See you later. Ciao. We're going from the top. From the top. Let's give it a crack. Oh, good, good. Yeah, I'll give it a crack. Hello there. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was dealing with your face. <laughs> <laughs> and there's apparently a hippo upstairs. <laughs> oh, dead dogs. Just think about dead dogs. Dead dogs. Righto. Got it.